What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with Tone of My Voice, Breakdown. Uh, it's the last one of the year. Number 44. 44. We here, again. <laughs> so we had a little, uh, oh, I, I fucked up a little bit. I might have not turned the mic on for the first episode. So, episode 44, take two. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get right into this breakdown and we'll talk about the other extra shit after. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll take this one. Yeah, go for it. Dropping, what is this, Thursday? Or tomorrow? Friday? Friday, December 30th. Correct? It's almost like we didn't do this yet. Okay. Yeah, it's just... Go ahead, you got it. Undefeated New Balance Troll Busters. They're called Unbalanced, which is very correct because there are straight traps. You got a white colorway and a black colorway. Safari prints on the heel and on the midsole. It's just... It's just very defeated. Ooh. Undefeated dropped the ball. Again, for another collaboration this year. It's pretty good. I had high hope for this collab, and they picked the wrong silhouette. It's just dirt. It's just trash. They just move it on. Trail Buster sucks. Uh, you can take the next one, too. Air Jordan 6, grade school exclusive. I think it's up to a 9.5. Extended sizing. GG, GG. Purple Dynasty. Uh, trash. Pre-orders are kind of open, if you want a pair. Loosely. They're loosely open. I suggest you not to get a pair, but if you really want a pair, Hit me up, I got you. Here's your guy. Uh, next up, you got the World Ride release of Two Shoes, Ronnie Fogg's Ultra Boost and uh, Response Trail. Uh, they dropped an Aspen first last week in New York, and now they're dropping on a wider release across the globe. Uh, I think a couple sites have already put up they're doing summer in store, summer raffle, summer online raffle, so be weary if you're trying to cop uh, from overseas. Um, it's gonna be a tough one. Either way, like if, if you wanna know about the shoes, I have to shoot the reviews, I know I'm a little behind, but real talk, the. This response trail is fire. Uh, in hand, is it is it response trail? I thought it was trail boost. Trail, well, I don't know. Look at the box. The box is right there. It says uh, trail response. Oh, Kit nice. TR. Okay. Um, so basically, the, the, uh, yeah, it's backwards. I have response trail, it's trail response. Uh, I got them both. I wasn't sure what the ultra boost was gonna look like. In hand, very fire. I saved all reservations till I got it in my hand. Super comfortable. The welded technology. Makes it really nice to look at too, because you're not looking at three stripes on the side. It's very subtle the way that it looks in that gray uh, welded, like I said, technology. Uh, the fit is nice, a little hard around the ankle to get it on. Once you slip your foot past, it's it's like wearing a glove on your foot. And like I said, uh, the trail response is is amazing in hand. Super light, durable. It's got that thick outsole, so you can do a little hiking, trailing. Um, I, I forget the Boost God's name on YouTube. This dude it did a review. I, I caught bits and pieces of it, but he'd worn the shoes for like three hours and said his foot was still dry. I don't know if they're all weatherproof or whatever have you, but for him to say that they were all dry, I don't, I don't think he was BSing, but I will shoot a review. I'm not gonna, there's no snow here, so you're pretty much effed on that. Well, not yet, it's just nothing uh, but cold rain. Right but now. yeah. Honestly, I think that she was a super sleeper. Uh, For real? Super sleeper? Super sleeper. Like, it's I mean, they, they sold out online. Doesn't mean anything, but I'm saying like a lot of people were more hyped to get the, Ultra the trail response. What do you mean? From a lot of people that I spoke to, like, oh, I want the trail response. Like, really? They're better. They're more the easier to wear. To? People in the group chat. Because, so, you know, you're never there uh, at the YouTube group chat. But a lot of people were saying the navy blue trail response Yo, was pretty dope. Can you pull dope. that knife out of my back real quick? Oh, thanks. I'll All put right. it right here. I got you. So, a lot of people are saying the navy blue colorway was definitely easier to wear compared to the multicolor of the burgundy, which was, I thought was crazy to say That's because blasphemous. the Ultra Boost is fire. I didn't pick up a lot of Ultra Boost in the whole year, but I have two any? now. I have two. What was the other one? Well, they're not really Ultra Boost. It's just Boost technology. What? Ultra you got V2s oh. and the RF Ultra Boost. So you got the two most hype. No, they weren't that hype because they were, uh, well, the, the Yeezy was easy to get, but I had a, a very tough time trying to pick so, these up. So the Yeezy's not hype and this wasn't hype either? Yeah, this was pretty high hype, but I love that colorway. That colorway is fire. That, knife right oh, gotcha. uh, that colorway is fire, though, I can't lie. Yeah, the most, the, I, honestly, people were asking me, would you like the Ultra Boost from Kith? And I was like, honestly, I don't know until I see it in hand because I, was, I wasn't going to talk shit about it and I wasn't going to big it up until I saw it. And once I got it in hand and on my foot, I, I'm, I'm sold, completely sold. 
Uh, next up, you got another worldwide release, End Times Reebok, Into Fury. Fury. We did it last week in the Salmon Colorway, moving right along. Got it. Uh, Fantasy also dropping their Puma Disc Blaze, King of Beasts. I don't like it. They, they're mixing up these animal prints, and I think it's like four different or five different prints. It's like a black leopard on the heel wrap. I don't know. It's 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 too crazy for me. It's too uh, it's too out there. Uh, I, do you like these? She was fire. Uh, so I like the zebra print on the toe capping. Zebra. I like the tiger striping towards the mid body on the lateral. I don't know if, the, if it's if it's flipped on the uh, the medial side of the shoe, but from all the pictures that I've seen, I like I like the contrast. The biggest issue that I have with the shoe is the fact that it's a uh, this crank joint. But I mean, real talk. I'm not mad at it. I like the way it fits my foot. I never have a problem with it. Uh, the only thing I do have an issue with is after a while of wearing them, the wire that you crank to loosen and tighten the shoe gets a little beat. Like it wears away a lot. And I've seen mm. a lot of them snap and stuff. So For real, I've never seen anybody snap this. You, you haven't. But I, I've seen people cut the whole desk, the, this, the whole upper yeah. mechanism off of it and it would just like drill holes to put laces in, which I thought was fire with the laces. I'll find the picture so you can see it, but I think it's dope. Either way, with the disc mechanism or just with laces. Kind of like a blaze of glory. Yeah, they're, they're dope. I like them. Well, the silhouette, not this collaboration. I, I, I like this collab a lot. I mean, honestly, and it's, I believe it's a, they do worldwide shipping also, so you could probably get your hands on them. If Fantasy you is a store based in Asia, if you guys don't know. They do a lot of crazy collaborations. If you like the Piano Air Max 1 fire shoe. Fantasy. Uh, anyway, moving right along, you know, you get into your, I, I still haven't fixed this picture yet, but. That's fine, know. we got it. Uh, New Balance is dropping a part two of their surplus pack, which is dope. The first one was very amazing. Some people had like quality control issues with the 1500, which I had a quality issue with the 1500. Really? Yeah, so I couldn't buy the pair. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, the midsole was separated from the upper. I don't know why or what happened. I can tell you why. People from England, right? No, because it's not fucking Deodoro. Okay, I can ah! Funny guy. So they're dropping those those TR New Balances. I think they're the TRs or whatever the model name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I don't true. like them. The five seven seven fire. I like them. And the nine nine one point five fire. I like them. Great colorway. It's perfect. You can't go wrong with them. You can't. First half is dropping this week. This week, yeah. And then the next half is three other pairs. You have the fifteen hundreds and two other pairs, which I forgot the name of them. And they'll be dropping later on throughout the year, so you can take the next one too. Air Jordan 6 Black Cat also dropping on Saturday. Disgusting shoe. I hate it. It's all black. I don't like it. A little bit white. Pre orders are open. If you're interested for pre order and you want a pair, hit me up. I mean, if man. you like the shoe, yeah, if you, you like, like it, don't go game. based off of our opinions or my opinion. It's just, if you like it, you like it. It's, it's really your opinion. It's the worst salesman ever is like oh like, i keep it real though i, I give you guys car, all like, oh, this car sucks do you want to buy it though like i mean it, 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 yeah, it sucks for you for my stand but if you want to you know then you can have it it's whatever anyway uh i threw this in here also for the breakdown this week uh i actually flavors threw it in here shout out to the flavors see you. um ultra boost dropping on 1117 and the uh it's a 3.0 ultra boost so if you're familiar with the caging action it's a little bit different a little bit fatter uh i think it's a little bit more translucent i as think well. this one is uncaged right there yeah so that, one, that one is uncaged. there's a variety of ultra boost dropping but it's uh they, they look pretty dope i like the 3.0 a lot i like uh, the, the olive green color the colorways are fire they are there um definitely worth a look at if you're into them i mean most people are so what am i saying but either way that's a lot of more uh that's gonna be it for this week's breakdown we'll do a couple of shout outs uh, like I said just now, the flavors, we got Healing Souls. Healing Souls, what up, I see you. 10th NYC, right, so Art of My Feet, Tone of My Voice, The Camp Out, The Group Chat, The Factory, everybody, what up? Oh, Sh special shout out to Paolo. Had a rough middle part of the year, better Boston's end of the best. year, Boston's best one. Always shooting some love your way, bro. Uh, next up, we got, mm, so it's not the end of the year yet, so we're not doing the top 16 of 16 until next week when the year is officially over. As you can see, there's some shoes dropping this weekend. Uh, I'm not going to say any of them are going to make the top 16, but I like the year to be over before. Over you know, officially before we, we push make any top 16. Any kind of top, top, top. Anyway, we just caught uh, Complex's Complex Con talks with DJ Clark Kent, Russ Benson, uh, Benjamin Kicks, and Wale. And Buscemi. Don't forget about Buscemi. 
I mean, they're the only person that really matters, or the three that mattered. Yeah, it was only three people's opinions that I respect that were on the debate or talk show. I don't know what it was. It wasn't really like a countdown. It was just like, what was the number one shoe of the year? And a lot of them, you know, they picked up a lot of hype shit. Well, well no, they, they, they talked about hype. Like, what did they think? Who, who did they think uh, really took the lead this year as far as releases? There, there was only talking about two different brands. I agree that, uh, that Adidas is doing very well. Um, but I also agree that uh, Nike is still crushing things. It's just perception. For brands. Well, I mean, Nike, Jordan brand. And then Adidas. You know how that goes. So it was a very biased debate, nonetheless. But it, I, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's it just didn't do well for me. Like Benjamin Kicks doesn't really have a lot of knowledge when it comes to the shoe industry or just like the history of sneakers and throughout the whole year and what happened. No, not really. Like a lot of rappers could be like, "Oh, what do you have?" So I'll show them like, "Oh, these dropped 2006 or whatever it is." But. A lot of them don't really know the name, like, of Black Cat 3, so just ask me my opinion type thing. He probably said, like, two sentences throughout the whole talk. Like, it's just whatever, dog. Benjamin Cakes and Wale are not valid, in my opinion. Uh, Wale did make one or two solid points. Not really solid, but, like, it, it, uh, the, the clutter of nonsense clarified for a second for him to make, like, one or two points that made sense. Uh, Clark Kent... Clark Kent, Russ Benson, Joe LaPuma, and Buscemi basically all had valid points about like what style is right, what style yeah. is wrong, like where you're going in the right direction. My whole thing is that like if you're gonna say something is the best thing for the year, you have to put all shoes into the mix. Uh, I don't really mess with Brooks, but I would say they put out a couple of dope shoes this year. I didn't cop them, but you still have to give them kind of notor notoriety a little bit, you know? Be like, oh, that they, they came out with a dope shoe. I didn't cop it. It was fire. It looked comfortable. I heard a lot of good reviews about it. Da -da -da -da. Whatever. For them to just go up there and be like, Adidas is dope. Nike's dope. Who did better, Adidas or Nike? You got Under Armour. You got Diodora. You got Brooks. You got Kangaroos. Kangaroos did some crazy work yeah, this year. Yeah, they did. Crazy work, crazy collaborations, like limited they stuff. They get no recognition High at quality, all. like I, I don't understand how those things just fly under the radar just because they're not Nike or Adidas. It's my, of, my opinion is I think they just picked like the two top companies of the year that made the most throughout the year. Yeah. And they did it from there. I don't think it was really like a debate about who put out the best shoe of the year because it should have just been Nike versus Adidas and that's it. Why? Well, I mean, uh, that, that's exactly what they classified it as. They did mention the uh, Special Force, Air Force Trash. One. Uh, Top 16 material for Honestly, sure. I, I haven't, I, I saw them before, like, I haven't worn an Air Force One in roughly 15 years. Literally 15 years. And uh, I cop those. Obviously, I cop them. I cop two Air Force Ones this year, as a matter of fact. Yeah, me too. So, I mean, theoretically, that, that should tell you something right there. I also, I copped a couple of Nikes this year. I have three Nikes that are in the Top 16 for myself. Which I rarely see coming if it's not like Jordan brand Nike, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, it, it's good to see that even though they are retro styles, but it is what it is. Either way, that's what we're doing. We're going to do top 16 next week. You get another breakdown first and we'll talk about what's going on for the top 16 and what day we're going to actually put up the top 16. So you got to be on the lookout for that. So today's episode will be out what, roughly eight o'clock, eight p.m. Always eight p.m. Always. Eastern stand well, no, no, no. Unless he's running a little late, then yeah, you know, we might like, be eight thirty. We get some technical difficulties sometimes, like today, like, like so. alcohol. Um, <laughs> but uh, it'll I would have said that's a technical difficulty. Throw me off a little but, bit, but um, yeah, for the most part, I try and get out at eight o'clock every Thursday, so you guys have something to look forward to. Or just something to watch. Even if you don't look forward to it, you just like talking shit about it. I don't care. Yeah, if you can't catch it on Thursday, you can always watch it Friday. Whatever, yeah, speaking, free. Of, speaking of talking shit, uh, shout outs to everybody who voted for the Volcano. Shout outs. Real, real nice. Real nice. I guys. appreciate you guys. Everybody that voted on last week's episode. Even if you voted for Frags, like I appreciate you. Like, no, no, he doesn't appreciate I you. I do. I no, really no, no. do. No, no, no. I'm he, very he happy me, that so many... He texted me and said, I can't believe people voted for you. That I, might be a lie. I'm I didn't saying. say that though. You got any proof of that? <laughs> You know, I delete all right. my texts. I delete all my oh. texts. <laughs> Whatever, though. Well, listen, I appreciate call me everybody Don't worry about it. being very interactive with us in the comments. Man we, subs. we need that. Like, So, you ready for... You said who? I said Med Subs. Oh, you said Med Subs. Because I said just call me Hillary. And Damn. I subbed the shit out of it. Anyway, it, it, under the radar. It got I'm real political right now. Uh, so, we're going to do another uh, sneaker battle today. Y y is your shoe off right? No, no, no. Definitely not. I mean, like, what are we waiting for? I got you. I got you. Heard it? And there we go. Who wins? Come on. Classic. You, you're going depth of field, I'm going 
Classic dog. You can't Jordan 11 playoff bread. You can't go wrong, dog. Come on. This shoe has its own skill. Just saying. Wow. You really went there, huh? <laughs> I mean, this shoe has its own skill as well. Like I don't. Well, it's Jordan though. It's different. But it's a fire Jordan. You get a designer that got his own skill. Shout out to Clark Kent for that one because that was a pull from Clark. Uh, anyway, what's going on, around? Cast your votes in the comments. Let us know. We got a we got a ninja walking around the background over here. <laughs> Just wait for the door to creak. Wait for it. Yep, there, there it is. Thank you. And it's closed. All right, back at it. <sighs> Hope you guys like Yeezys this week. Um, <laughs> shameful plug for myself. Yeah, that's I want to give a huge shout out. I want to thank Milton, the flavors for all the time flavors. All his contributions for the breakdown. Always shooting. You know, shout out to me last night. I always wonder, like, I wonder who's gonna come this week or not. Always shows up on time, so shout outs to Milton. Um, always puts out dope stuff, always puts it up ahead of time. So shout outs to Puerto Rico fan. Um, Big ups. I already shouted out Paolo. Shout outs to uh, 100 Stacks. I see you. Your package who is 100 Stacks? It's Instagram. He knows who I'm talking to. Shout out to 100 Stacks. Um, 100. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I'm going right. to be right back. You give some shout outs. Why? Where are you going? I got to go check something real quick. Okay. Uh, shout out to everybody that, you know, donated to 10 NYC that uh, really hooked us up and I appreciate everybody that helped out for the events. So that's that. And shout out to Healing Souls for helping out as always. Healing Souls have a blog up, not a blog, have a post up on their IG saying, you know, they have drop off locations on where you guys can donate. There's one in each borough, I believe. There's, I think there's two in Long Island. But it's definitely one in Brooklyn, there's one in Manhattan, I believe, one in the Bronx. Is it up on the IG? He has it up on his IG. So I'm, don't, I'm not very sure about the details, but they're definitely up there. We'll do Healing Souls across here. I'll throw it in the description to the video. Yep. And if I can find the, or I'll look for the Instagram post. Yeah, he has a flyer right And there. I'll, I'll throw the locations up as well in the description if you guys are unfamiliar. But just follow him on Instagram, you know? And if you don't have Instagram, I will put it in the description to the video. So you won't have a hard time getting to... Donation locations. True. Uh, happy New Year. Happy, be uh, safe. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Arrive alive. Um, see, that, was, that, was that worked good. out. That was pretty good. I like that. 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 Um, anyway, listen, guys. Really appreciate everybody who subs, subscribes to the channel, the comment section, fire. Everything. Uh, we hit 4K. Super dope. Big fan of that. We need uh, more. Definitely. I mean, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. That it. That it's the breakdown again. It's. Yeah, the breakdown. We're here. Oh, we're making moves out here. We got lines. We got bars out here today. Uh, <laughs> anyway, much appreciated. Much love. Uh, especially the guys that have been watching since the first anything I put on the channel. Yeah. I appreciate you, of course, as always. Uh, I'm going to try and do a giveaway for the beginning of the year. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. We can do some giveaways. <clears throat> uh, I want a sneaker. I would like to do a sneaker. I, I'm, I'm trying to get my hands on another pair of linens, so possibly give a pair of those away. It'll be a 10, 10 and a half, or 11, somewhere in there. If I do get my hands on it, or I might just give up my pair. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, just to show some love. I got a ton of Supreme stuff, so I'll figure something out, like a whole bunch of accessories and things like that. Yeah. Some hats, tags on them still. So I'm gonna go through all my stuff as I'm cleaning out the, uh, the man cave, because I've been transitioning trying to do that, which is why I haven't been doing reviews as much. Uh, I'm gonna do, I got a whole bunch of container store stuff coming in tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a, a lot of time lapse video of me swapping out the room, switching the boxes out so you guys can get an idea of what the collection kind of looks like. Cause I haven't done a collection video yet. Yeah, this is all stuff that has to get reviewed. Like I ha it's a stack is crazy high. Uh, there's like 20 shoes there. Yeah. He, he's very busy, all right? Like, so I, 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 was, I got some big news coming. My guy just hit me back today as a matter of fact. Great news. So I, I mean, just, just progression is coming. I got a hat coming from Hat Club at some point shout in the next three Club. months. So shout out to Hot Club for that. Uh, I'm, I was supposed to go check out apparel today so I could do some teas for you guys, but we'll figure it out. We gotta get a We Here t-shirt for this guy. And maybe we'll do a breakdown We Here, or you just wanna do a We Here. What do you guys want? We'll, we'll sit down and we'll discuss that. We'll, you, we'll try to figure it out. You guys can definitely be part of the democracy out here, because this is a democracy. For the people. What? Well, shout out to EB. Shout out to EB is right, because that's a tap you the year. Uh, anyway, I still right. need one, so if anybody has a size 11, 11 and a half or so, please hit me he, up. He's talking about the friends and family pair that just recently dropped. Yeah. The review will be up. So I missed out. I missed out big time. It, it might be up tomorrow, as a matter of fact, because I have another day off. They're fire in person. Uh, yeah, so so uh, be on the lookout for a whole bunch of reviews coming out. I'm not even going to spread them out. They're just going to be like, blah, blah, blah. so uh, be prepared. Anyway, once again, thanks, guys. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Please. This is 
the camp out. That is Tone of My Voice. We here. Shout outs to Force Field also. Um, I think I got some stuff right behind me, as a matter of fact. So uh, shout outs to Force Field for your sneaker care and protection. Uh, sponsor? I don't know. Mm. Uh, let's get out of here. I think that's it, right? We're done? Well, I, I got anything to talk We didn't talk about the Kiff Apparel. Coca Cola. Two, two in a row. Two in a row. They did the last episode that we didn't record. All right. So, so we're not, we're still here. We're still here. Yeah, we, we here? We here. Okay. You got me to say it. Uh, so <laughs> basically, Kith dropped their blog today for the uh, Coca Cola collaboration. Fire. Not sure if they're doing different. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're doing different locations for some of the apparel. If you read the blog, it said that Aspen was going to get some of the Polar Bear inspired logo stuff because of the Colorado that kind of That's kind of which wild. is super whack because I need that, that's like my favorite piece is the polar bear stuff so I'm hoping that maybe the majority of the stock goes there and maybe like seven three quarters goes there and a quarter comes to New York I don't know how they're gonna do it. I just hope that every location gets everything like it makes sense mm -hmm. the main like the main consumer mm -hmm. that he has are in New York City. Yeah, the consumer base is out of New York, but yeah, I mean, you get a lot of people that showed up to Miami because I was there for that. Yes. A lot of people showed up to Miami. They were very excited to have a Miami store. <coughs> and of course, Aspen kids out there, they were very excited too. They camped out for like 13 hours, 10 hours. I think I think his, his fan base is global. It's not just, you know. Imagine if he opens a store like in Japan or something. Like I know Asia or Europe is like waiting for like I'm, I'm waiting Kiff for, to open I'm up. waiting for like him to finish the United States before he goes anywhere else. He needs one on the West Coast. Europe will be big, but he definitely needs one on the West Coast for West sure. Coast first, for sure. Because, you know, he did do West Coast project. So, and he did ECPs. And he did... ECPs? The fire. That was I need him. That was Miami, though. I don't know. But I'm saying like he did ECP, WCP, fire. Well, what do you need? I, I need all of them. Oh, ECPs? Yeah, yeah I need them. Need them? Well, I don't need them. I want them. Well, yeah, you need them. Uh, all right. I think we're done now, right? We're gonna. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, we're done. We're gonna finish this. Cut this off. I'll do the piece on one more time. Peace, y'all. One. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Oh, yeah, hit the comment section. Thumbs up. There. Give me a thumbs up too. Come on. Follow me. Oh, here we go. Why not? All right, it's off. You want me to dance? With that red light, right? I'll still dance. <laughs> I got no more dance moves, dog. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. No. 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 A little bachata. Ah.